and when we are ready for the maxillary mounting it helps to go ahead and connect this pin here this is again available with the system it creates a static stop at the back making sure the back end of the articulator does not disturb the maxillary cast now we go ahead and manipulate the plaster as per manufacturer's instructions we're supposed to go ahead and seat this first onto the cast and adapt it onto all the margins making sure that you do not leave any void in the center or towards the periphery when doing so it helps to create a small mountain towards the center because that is the area where the plaster is supposed to be the thickest right so we've created a small little dome here now we go ahead and leave a blob of plaster right in the center right we go ahead and take more plaster but this time we will adapt it onto the mounting plate once again adapting this around the entire periphery of the plate all right once this is done we go ahead slowly close this down allow it to go and stabilize and then slowly keep tapping now as i tap excess material keeps coming out and it is now that the upper member of the articulator is contacting the indirect mounting jig whatever space now remains you go ahead and slowly start filling into that area and it helps to do this with a slightly smaller instrument so as you can see i am now using a wax spatula take your time with this don't be in a hurry because excess material is never desirable make sure your material extends from the periphery of your cast up to the periphery of your mounting plate once you have added the desired increments you allow for this to rest a little once it is partially hardened can you come back and then polish the same remember don't be in a hurry to finish this it's important that we do nice and clean work because clean work will allow for our patients to realize as to we are here to help them in the best possible manner we can